Priscilla. So today is gonna be kind of special guys. So we've been keeping a secret from you guys for a long time. We wanted to do it a little bit different, but due to the coronavirus, we can be around a lot of people during this time. But uh, you wanna tell them or should I tell them? You can tell them. All right guys, so we're expecting a baby. So uh, do you have a little picture? See right there, <laughs> little nugget. Uh, little baby, nine weeks. So we're extremely excited. We wanted to share this uh, this special moment with you guys. You know, obviously we wanted to do it a little bit different. We wanted to let you guys know uh, when we knew the gender, and today the day has come. So. It's a little bit different, <clears throat> it's just going to be us two, we're going to be revealing the gender of the baby with you guys. My friend, he delivered some uh, confetti cannons for us, so we gave him all the information. He found out uh, whether it was going to be a boy or a girl. He delivered the cannons to the door and then today we're going to find out. But before we get started, I want to ask my baby girl, so what do you want? What do you want, a boy or a girl? A boy. Why? I've just always wanted. I want to be a boy mom, so I prefer all boys. So not girls. I mean, I would want a girl, I guess, but if I had to choose, especially for my first, I want a boy. And what's it like? What what draws you like to boys so much? I love the style. I love that they're so simple. I like that I can be rough with them, and I just girls are just so so much more emotional. <laughs> so guys are boys are easier in my opinion. I'm Mexican, so I have a large family, so I'm helped raise kids, I've changed diapers my whole life, like I, I know the difference pretty well. Girls, it's funny because I actually never really cared for a girl until about a couple years ago, so like now I'm open to one, I would want a daughter, but if I had to choose all boys or all girls, definitely all boys. But for my first, like I said, I, I want a boy. Okay, that's cool. Well, as far as uh, for myself, I'm the opposite. The baby girls, I already have a, a son. I don't know, something about girls that they're just like, daddy's little girl. No, they always just want to be next to you. They always want to be cuddled up and stuff like that. And nothing pretty much uh, beats the reaction of when you just come home and it just make you feel like regardless of how bad the day is. I mean, with you, with you as well, you just make me feel like nothing really matters. So I think you would be kind of cute. I don't know as far as like. What about with your boy? What about Danny Jane? <laughs> oh, I love my boy. What's your relationship? Our relationship is uh, that's that's my little dude right there. But I think that's why I'm. A, like, I already have my firstborn son, so from there on, like, all just like nothing but girls. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And little boys are, I don't, I don't know, little boys are just a little bit more of just troublemakers, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Like, little girls are softer and they do cry and whine a lot, but little boys, like, they break stuff and you have to be a little bit more uh, more careful with a little, them. Yeah, and it's funny because I actually like that about boys, that they're so rough and, like, Desmadrosos, you know, like wild and like careless. I love that. I think it's fun. <laughs> I just want a little baby girl to look just like you. I think it'd be super Aww. cute. Oh. All right, guys. So the moment we've been waiting for. We got these two little freaking uh, these two little cannons right here. And once we pop these, we're gonna find out if it's a girl or it's a boy. You want to do it at the same time or how do you want to do this? Yeah, let's do it at the same time. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, but I have, I have another them. surprise though. Do you? Yes. Okay. Before we pop. Alright, so. Oh. What is it? <laughs> 2,000 years later. Alright guys, so here we go on three. We're going to pop it. Ready? One, two, three. It's a girl! Did it all pop? But don't pop it on me! Here, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta pop it. Oh, it didn't pop. This is too funny. But wait! Hold on, we got another song, something else. Wait a minute. Ready? April Fools! 
<laughs> we got you. We do have a baby girl. But it's so not it, a baby. So we weren't expecting a baby, and it is a girl, but it's not uh, exactly a, a baby. Uh, we are looking to have uh, some babies, guys, in the future, but this is uh, the new addition. This for is now. a new addition to the family. Her name is Me Future. Future is a little Frenchy, and uh, yeah, you guys have been asking a lot for prank videos, so we decided to prank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so she's nine weeks old. She is a li lilac. Lilac, yes. Hey, Bobos. <laughs> Hi, baby. You're acting shy. Where's her little toy? Is it? In her bed. Hey, girl. Wait, look at all this. Look at all this. She's acting shy. So, yeah, guys, she is nine weeks old. Her name is Future. She's a little Frenchie. And uh, she's gonna have her own little Instagram page, so you guys can definitely <laughs> see her little journey. Hey girl, where are you going? Come here. Come here, mamas. Come here, baby. Come here, mamas. Come here, baby girl. So how do you feel with your little baby? Happier than I thought I would. Why? Um, because I didn't want to have to deal with the hassle. <laughs> so what do you what, what can you tell people about Frenchies already? Because I know both of us have experienced that these dogs are very unique, and they're not like your uh, typical dogs. No, one thing that I always known about them is they have a really like silly personality. They're really goofy and clumsy and um, kind of weird. But I've been doing a lot of research, of course, it's just how I am, when it comes to um, something serious, she's a new addition, and she can't talk, so you have to figure them out, make sure that they're healthy. I've heard that they have like a lot of health issues and stuff like that, so I just kind of wanted to, I've never actually had a small puppy like this, so I needed to find out how often I should take her out, what we should feed her, how to care for her, you know, her ears are open, so I learned a lot about how to care for that and protect her from, you know, baths and stuff like that, so yeah, I mean, you know, we haven't had her very long, people say they're very fragile, but she's doing really good so far, nothing to worry about her. Her coat is really healthy, um, her eyes are really healthy. And what about like at night? Is she a pretty good dog? She's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, like unbelievably good. She doesn't, she has never whined. She's really good in the crate. If anything, she just whines during the day because she constantly wants to be around us and get petted and have all the attention because we've been giving her so much love. So I think she's already becoming really spoiled. She doesn't bark. Um, she's getting comfortable now. So, you know, she runs around and plays with her toys. For a minute she was really timid, um, but I think she's getting comfortable with us now and her new home, her new toys, her bed, so she's gonna, she's gonna do great. Alright guys, so that concludes another episode with the Cosilla family. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe and please comment below. Let us know uh, what kind of videos you want next. We're going to have a lot of videos coming soon. Um, this uh, coronavirus is preventing us from giving you guys a lot of content. But at the end of the day, guys, just remember that your health and keeping others safe is always a priority. So our videos and our content can wait. Uh, make sure you guys are staying at home. Make sure you're washing your hands. And make sure you're uh, keeping everybody around you safe so that this uh, virus doesn't continue to spread and uh, people don't, don't get sick. I hope you guys like uh, our little prank. We thought it was gonna be, we, we didn't know how to introduce the puppy to you guys and my, my friend, uh, my boy was the one that brought up the idea and I'm like, yo, that's pretty genius. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and... No one pranked you on April Fools? We got you first, but bye. You'll be seeing a lot more of her. Ah, my ring. Peace.